All right, guys, so I'm just heading down the road. I'm going through the Cascade Mountains. I just met up with Edward Shin, which maybe some of you guys are following. Uh, if not, uh, you can check out his YouTube channel below. But um, I'm following behind him. We're going to head to a lake called Clear Lake that's up here in the mountains, not too far from uh, government camp. Um, a really pretty cool spot. I, I camped there last night and just kind of did a little pre-check out. Uh, lots of off-road accessibility as far as being able to, you know, get your overland set up in there and lots of great places to camp along the lake. One thing though that I did see that was massively unfortunate and really upset me and we're going to talk a little bit more about it in this video, but uh, lots of garbage. Uh, we, you know, we're a couple weekends past the uh, 4th of July weekend and I don't know if it, you know, a lot of that came from them, but man, um, really disappointing how much trash and 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 stuff that was left behind uh, this is exactly the kind of thing that people do and then wonder why forest service ends up closing these places off to us um, so anyways uh, gonna continue to follow uh, Edward here and then uh, you know we're gonna get try to find a cool place to get camped up and um, we're gonna kind of show you guys around a little bit and show you some of this mess Guys, this is one of the instances where we just pass by and this is something you notice at a place like this when this happens. And obviously just off the bat, looking at it from behind the screen, you can already tell how disgusting and filthy this looks, right? So in person, it's not only what we see, it's also what we smell. And the thing is, there's certain guidelines and rules for something like this, usually in the outdoors, which is you dig your hole at least six inches deep, you know, you do what you gotta do, bury it back up and if you use TP toilet paper or anything to wipe or clean you got to pack it in and take it out now as you can see this that wasn't the rule that was followed here and this is basically how mother nature looks at this point in time and it's really disappointing to see that because you know whether people didn't know, understand the rule and think this is exactly perfectly acceptable and normal to do or they knew but didn't want to spend the time to clean it up um, as you can see, it just turns it into a place where we can't enjoy it as we would if it was clean. <sighs> uh, I wish I could get, uh, have smell-o-vision right now so you guys could smell how disgusting this is. Whatever's in this bucket or uh, whatever they did with this, um, this bag or whatever, just disgusting and it's wafting all through this campsite it's a great campsite at, at, you know be a great place to camp it's right here on the on the lake but you can't be anywhere near it because the smell of whatever somebody left here is just wafting all through the campsite and it's absolutely disgusting so I have an idea Edward why don't we go buy a tent and we'll set up and we'll go out to a really nice lake go camping and then let's just leave everything. Oh yeah, why not? And I can just poop all over the place too. Maybe. <laughs> and leave your toilet paper. Oh, well, you don't need to go all over the place. Yeah, just, just use right the here. toilet right here that was left. And yeah. then we can leave it for the next person that yeah. comes by. Just leave it, yeah, leave it and everything in it um, for the next person. Yeah. You know, uh, we're kind of joking around here, but you know, one of my favorite movies is The Matrix. And in that movie, the... Um, Agent Smith, one of the characters there, classifies mankind as a virus. But I have to be honest that when I hear that, I think, and I look at this lake and I look at the way people treated it and the campsites and all the garbage and everything, I mean, I don't think he's too far off. Um, yeah. I mean, this whole thing just really bothers me because it's a great location. There's lots of, lots of opportunity for camping and have a good time here. But I can, I can definitely foresee Forest Service starting to close this area down or shutting roads down if, if basically um, they have to come and clean up after all this all the time. Yeah, and that's, that's all also your tax 
pay your money or your cost for camping going into something like this when it can be going towards something much more useful. You know, and the most, I think the irritating thing about this is not just, you know, what, maybe a mile away down, down the road, right. there's an actual campground, an actual real campground, and there's several big dumpsters that people can go and, and throw their trash in that Forest Service has provided, but people have been way too lazy to even go a mile down the road and drop their trash off on the way out. The funny thing is to get here, you actually got to pass by the campsite. So it's not like you don't see it coming here. You know, you know, there's a campsite on the way in. Yeah. But um, again, like I said, I don't think that, you know, I know like probably many of our followers are not the problem, but we need to get the, you know, we need to kind of keep pushing this word out. And so, you know, if you want to be, you know, be able to help in some way, I, you know, we need to share the, the kind of videos because I, I talk about this pretty often on my channel, but when I do do a video like this, um, I feel like you need to share these videos out because we got to get them in front of the people that are causing the problem. That's the thing. Uh, we got to get them out there and make them realize, look, you know, uh, this is not, this is not good behavior. This is not acceptable. Um, and the only way I can think of do that is, you know, instead of sharing some joke meme today, share this instead, you know, or some political rant, share this instead. Let's, you know, we got to get, we got to get this out there because we got to try to preserve these areas and we got to, you know, hopefully we can reach some of the people that are causing this, this type of problem. I agree. So. I agree. Anyways, um, if you were completely disgusted by this video, please uh, leave a like. Um, and uh, comments do help. But like I said, if you can share the video and uh, help get the word out and, and let's uh, try to get the word out about this, that'd be the, the best. And again, me and Edward will see you guys again outside.